Just put it, put it down, man. <laughs> I guess I'll have the steak. Lately I've been drinking too much. Drinking too much. And lately I've been smoking too much. too much. Like the stars are close enough to touch. To touch. Fucked up. Yo, yo! What is going on, people? You already know who you rocking with. The one. The only. Number one motherfucking stunner. And it's about time for me to get all up in your ear hole one more again. So sit back, relax, chill, catch a contact while I tell everybody welcome back. Man, I said welcome back. Today, y'all know I've been on that old school boots on the ground kick here lately. So in the background for y'all to watch, I got some of that Modern Warfare 2. But the gameplay don't even matter. It's just something for y'all to watch in the background while I bump my gums a little bit and talk a little shit. I said I come on. Now, first and foremost, man, let me just fucking apologize right now for the quality of this fucking commentary. Because my blue snowball microphone fucked up on me, man. I don't know what's going on with it, but it keeps popping and crackling and carrying on and I can't fix it. So I got to get me a brand new microphone. I think I'm going to get something better than the Snowball. If anybody got any suggestions for some good price on some good USB mics, let me know, man. Let me know in the comments below. But hopefully, you know, I'm having to do this one with my gaming headset mic. And it just, to me, it just does not sound as good. The quality's all fucked up and I can't stand it. So hopefully it's just for this one fucking video then I get a new mic so I apologize for that y'all for real for real and another thing let me put this plug in too this Friday night man at 7 o'clock Eastern I am co-hosting another one of the Black Ops 3 free-for-all money tournaments so if you got Black Ops 3 on PS4 and you want a chance at winning some money come by my man Lost Souls Game and Stream at 7 p.m. His link is going to be in the description. You get $20 for first place, $10 for second place, $5 for third place, and then somebody just in the chat that's hanging out can win $5. So come by and kick it. And if you win that tournament, you automatically into the Tournament of Champions, man, where somebody that wins the Tournament of Champions is going to get a free copy of the new Call of Duty World War II game and the season pass man so shit if you got the skills you got black ops 3 and ps4 bring your motherfucking ass to the tournament tonight i mean tonight not tonight goddammit. it friday night at seven o'clock eastern and show us what you got man try to win that money and once again man i apologize for the quality of this goddamn microphone now with all that said let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this video right here baby Western Australian Lobster Tails. That's right, people. You heard me right. Lobster Tails, baby. As you know, my homie Blonde Bomber hooked me up. He done hooked me up with some steaks, some lobsters, some motherfucking bacon-wrapped scallops, which is going to be a future video, too. Plus, I think my man's getting ready to hook me up with some beef wellington. And if he does that, I'll definitely make a video on that too. But a lot of y'all been asking about wanting to see how I prepare these damn dishes. So I'm going to show y'all right here in this video how I make these lobster tails and hook them motherfuckers the fuck up. I said I come on. Now, first if you can by all means get them fresh get them fresh is the fresher the better that's rule number one but seeing how these are frozen what you want to do is thaw them out Th don't put it in hot water put it in cold water and make sure it's completely 100 percent all the way thawed where the tail can actually bend over and touch the top just like this right here now, once you've done that and it's all flexible and bendable like that right there, that means it's all thawed out and it's ready to go. So 
So what you do is you take your scissors and slide it right underneath the shell right here. Be careful because you don't want to cut your meat up and all. But one thing too is get you some good damn scissors. These scissors we got, man, I swear we got to get us a good pair because these pieces of shits won't cut hot fucking butter. But make sure you cut right down the center of your shell because you're going to use that shell later on as presentation and make sure you stop right at the end right there as it gets ready to fan out into like a what, what looks like a fan you want to stop cutting right there now take it and peel your shell back real easy you know it, it's tough now it's hard to fucking do so you don't want to darn tear your shell up though because like I said you're going to use it for presentation you know that's where your meat's going to sit at so open it on up real good, get it all pried apart, and make sure you just go ahead and peel your meat off the skin. I mean, off the uh, shell. Make sure you peel it all the way back off the shell like this right here. Be careful because you don't want to pop it all the way out. If you do pop it all the way out, it's fine, but you want to leave just a little bit in the bottom to hold tight with, but peel it all the way back and get you a little bit of olive oil. All you need is a little bit. I'm sorry the camera didn't focus good on that, but pour you a little bit of olive oil on it. Make sure you rub it in all real good over the whole thing. Get it on the top, bottom, sides. Make sure you put, I mean, just a little bit of oil, but get it all over the whole damn lobster tail. That way she don't burn up in the damn oven and it's still good to go. And take it, once you get that done and get it rubbed in, what you want to do is pull it up above the shell and pinch the shell together and lay the meat on top of it. Just like that right there. That's how you're going to present it. Look at them two lobster tails right there. Meat's laying right on top of the shell so it's ready to cook. Now what I do is I take and put some Old Bay Seafood Seasoning. That's what you want to use right there. Use that Old Bay Seasoning. Make sure you put a good little amount on it. I don't you ain't got to be uh stingy with it cuz Old Bay is good I mean don't fucking drown it or nothing but hook it up real nice and generously with that Old Bay seasoning and then after you get all of that seasoned up and sitting up on top looking just good as hell and look at them look at the meat that's some thick ass meat right there on them lobster tails but once you get that done she's ready to go in the oven and what you want to do is bake them bad boys on 375 put your temperature to 375 after you preheated your oven and all and let it get to 375 degrees you want to cook it for one and a half minutes per ounce of the whole weight of the tail so you know like say you got an eight ounce tail it'd be like 12 minutes 10 ounce 15 minutes and so on and so forth you get the idea but these right here was like eight to ten ounces so i went on ahead and let them cook for a full 15 minutes. Come on. Now, you can add like different seasons and stuff depending on what you like. This right here is just a simple little quick recipe that you can do with these lobster tails to make them delicious as hell with as little as possible. So after they get done cooking for the full 15 minutes, make sure you don't overcook them now. You definitely do not want to overcook lobster, man, because it'll taste like fucking leather. We went to Red Lobster for my old lady's goddamn birthday, bro, and let me tell you, they brought me out a lobster that was done so goddamn much, I thought I was chewing on a fucking Nike Air Jordan, bro. It was just straight leathery. I said, God damn, y'all's name is Lobster. You have Red Lobster in the fucking title, and you don't know how to cook a fucking lobster? What kind of shit is that? For $117 is how much it costs to eat at Red Lobster for a fucked up lobster. So be careful and do not overcook it. Just keep your eyes on it. It don't take long. Lobster meat cooks pretty quick. Now, once it's cooked for the full 15 minutes, pull that bad boy out and look at the color on them suckers right there. Just look at how good they look already. And remember, this is nothing but oil and fucking Old Bay season. But what you want to do now is cut your oven on broil. That's right, cut it on broil and load these motherfuckers down with butter. Put butter all on top of them. I mean, just don't be stingy with the butter because it's gonna melt all down in that meat. So make sure you put it all over your damn lobster and cut your oven on broil 
and stick them back in the oven for three minutes. That's it, just three minutes on broil and it's gonna melt and soak all that butter in right there on top of that lobster, come on. Now, after that final three minutes is up on broil and you done soaked all that butter in, you are officially done, my friend. You pull it on out and just look at that butter melted in on top of them things, y'all. Them lobsters look right. And see, what I like to do is take a little spoon and with the extra butter that's melted in the pan, just dip it back on top of it. You know, just take your spoonfuls and spread it all around on top of that lobster. Get them good and covered because the more buttery they are, the more they just sit there and melt right in your motherfucking mouth. These suckers right here, it's simple, easy to do. And once you get to the this was it 17 minutes all together 20 minutes all together look how beautiful them motherfucking lobsters are right there y'all can't beat it man delicious is what i'm talking about so there you have it people it's easy as that that's simple you know that's a quick simple little easy very delicious way in 20 minutes to fix a lobster tail now these are western australian lobster tails but it really don't matter. Lobster's delicious as long as you know how to cook it. If you can, get them fresh, man. Get them fresh. I always say fresh never frozen, but as long as you know how to fucking cook, you can make a frozen one taste like it's fucking fresh. That's for damn sure. So that was just a simple little easy recipe. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Plus, I hope y'all enjoyed the damn Modern Warfare 2 gameplay in the background bringing that nostalgia back to the channel you know i'm on my boots on the ground kick i'm tired of these fucking jetpacks and shit so definitely bringing some old school games back to the channel now i got a bacon wrap scallops i'm gonna do a video on and if y'all enjoy that one too let me know down in the comments man because i'll keep doing these type of videos man i enjoy the fuck out of cooking you can tell that by how fat my big ass is because i love to fucking eat so as long as y'all enjoy watching these videos, I keep on making these motherfuckers, man. And I gotta say a big shout out to my man Blonde Bomber for hooking me up with this damn these lobsters, scallops, steaks, everything I'm doing on these cooking videos. It's all thanks to my homie Blonde Bomber. So big ups to him, appreciate it. His link is always in the description underneath the crew. Go check him out too. And remember, this Friday night, y'all. Black Ops 3 Free For All Money Tournament. Alright people, hopefully if y'all enjoyed this video, you remember to rate, like, comment, subscribe, teabag, donkey punch, finger pop your asshole, tongue punch your fart box, titties at the like button, or hell, pull your peck out and mushroom stamp that motherfucker for me one good time. I said it, come on! And for all you haters out there, you already know what you can do. Pull your finger out your ass and leave a little brown stain on that dislike button because I don't give two fucks. Until next time, I am your boy, the number one stunner, and people, I am out.